Thanks for joining with us. All right, I have Craig Dunkirkley. He is the CEO and partner of BG Wealth Group. Craig, welcome to the show. Thanks for being here. Thank you, Michael. Very much enjoy being here. All right, I'm also glad that uh, C-Suite had made the introduction to you. It's another syndicator for us. I'm glad that you, uh, you're you a part of that family, too. Give us some background on you, how you got started in the business, what BG Wealth Group does, and then I have some other questions for you. Okay, sure. So I won't go uh, too far back because I know you know bios are boring, but uh, I'm going to go back a, a little bit. And you know, for me, uh, investing and, and taxes, which is what I do, uh, goes back to when I was young. Uh, when I was uh, 12 years old, I was very familiar with the uh, family finances. I was very fortunate to have a father who shared with me all the fi family finances. You know how much they paid for their house, what their mortgage was, what their payments were, and how they were trying to pay it off. So I was very privy to that information, and I'm a bit of an analytic, so I took that and continued going with it. You know, and recognizing that many children and, and young adults don't get that exposure to money now, I made it kind of part of my mission is to really start bringing information to people about their money, about their finances. And I was in the corporate world till I was about 32 years old. And then I left out, left that and broke out on my own and run an accounting firm and an investment firm and do some coaching on money as well. All right. You are focusing on the real estate market and indexes, right? For the most part, yes. Okay. Uh, tell me how BG uh, Wealth Group works in those uh, areas. And uh, I guess one of the other questions is you found uh, ways to save your clients' money from some of the fees that they're being paid that they're not realizing. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So I, I, um, I looked at my, my own investments a number of years ago. Um, when I first um, moved into my own home from my, from my parents, my dad had always talked to me about the value of bricks and mortar. So when I bought my first home, I rented out the basement and was earning rental income. And I really enjoyed that because for, for a number of years, I had somebody actually paying my mortgage for me. And you know, it's quite nice when somebody pays your mortgage for you. So I really saw the value in bricks and mortar. But at the same time, I was also paying attention to my investments that were in normal investment platforms. And I was realizing that I was not making as much money as I would like to, or what I felt I should be making. So I started to analyze them. And as I was analyzing them, I was figuring out that there's a small little fee in there that most people know is the MER fee. And I realized through my analysis is that that MER fee, although it seemed very small, was taking 60 to 70% of the potential profit of my investments. And it was, it was probably uh, early 2000s. Uh, I came across index funds and ETFs and I started to look at them and I started to look at the very low MER as low as 0.16 compared to 2.83% of the average fund. And I realized when I started to run the numbers how this smaller MER could have a very positive effect on the long-term growth of my investments. And that's when I, I took the ETFs and the, um, and the exchange traded funds and started to show and coach other people on how they could use these funds and keep a lot of that uh, growth in their, own, uh, in their own pocket, in their own investments. And, and of course, then with my experience and my knowledge and my love of real estate, I uh, started to expand into working with partners and other individuals on investing in real estate and building portfolios in real estate. Tell me the kind of projects you work on. So, you know, for me, uh, it starts with the tax side of things. Um, so 
we, we work with clients to help them move towards projects that they don't think they can actually do or get to. So if it's okay, can I maybe just start with that, Michael? Sure, please. Yeah, so, you know, many people don't realize the amount of taxes they're paying, although they see it come off their paycheck. They don't realize that they're paying more in taxes than what they're spending on their basic personal needs of clothing, food, and shelter. And, and that's a problem. There's so many people today declaring bankruptcy when they get into their seniors, not being able to live their senior lives like they want, and they're going back to work or declaring bankruptcy. So for me, it really starts with identifying where you're paying too much taxes and how we stop paying those taxes. Most cases for us, you know, it's have a small business, do something in business, and we work with clients on that. But even more so, using the advantage of investing in real estate which is like having a business to also work on those tax savings. And as you can bring your tax rate down, like most of the wealthy individuals in the world do, they have a very low tax rate. You can use that money for your own investments and move your own life and your family life forward. So when we do that, I do work with individuals on showing them how to manage their own money within index funds on those very low fees, but then even more so, to me, like I said, it's a real estate. So we have a number of projects that we are working on right now. Uh, we bought into Michigan, 140 rental doors in Michigan. We bought in about five years ago, paying as low as $500 per door, uh, as much as $6,000 per door in renovations and really enjoying the results in that space. More recently, we're working in Ontario, Canada in a um, a community called Owen Sound that is basically reinventing itself. Uh, it has had some um, market values go down, especially in the downtown area. And when we met with the council, when we met with the, um, the people building and growing the community, we realized that they were changing themselves and looking at their tourism value and how they can attract people to tourism. So we saw a huge opportunity here as a value investor, properties that had depressed in value that we could buy up at a very good deal. But as we all know, just because something's cheap doesn't mean it's a good deal. There has to be a reason for it to go back up in value. And working with the community, the, the council, we see a lot of traffic moving up into that area and therefore we bought in there and we're continuing to buy and build and work with the community to, to grow the area. So I'm getting a feeling that it's not just finding a depressed property that you can buy at a good bargain price, but you're also working with the municipalities, the local environment to enrich the, the area to the point where you're ensuring growth and uh, a, 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 an exit strategy that's good for everybody. Am I getting you right on that? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, Michael. When when you move into an area, like when we moved into Detroit, Michigan, you know, there was, there was a lot of issues there that needed to be addressed and were being addressed by, you know, the new mayor and um, uh, Dan Gilbert of Quicken Loans. You know, those were people who were in there doing something to change the community. And when we went into Owen Sound, we saw the same opportunity. You know, we can invest there and just make our money, sure. But if we really want to grow and help a community, we have to connect, we have to partner with who's running that community, the business owners of that community. We're currently looking at workshops that we can do for the business owners to improve their business, their customer service. And in the long run, it helps the entire area, it helps the residents, it helps the business owners, it helps the council, they drive more taxes to the area, and of course, it works well for our portfolio. So it's not just about going in there to make a buck, it's about going in there and you know how can we actually make a difference in this community and grow something for the benefit of everybody involved. Craig, well done. I want to thank you for being a guest on our show. I really appreciate that. I look forward to following along with your progress and uh, perhaps even doing business with you down here in Dallas someday. That would be great, Michael. That would be fantastic. All right. Thanks for being our guest. Thank you.
All right, you've been watching CEO Money with Michael Yorba. Thanks for joining with us. Don't forget, go to the home page of our website, WFN1.com, and click on Download Our App to get our app, and then we're going to start putting some prizes on those apps in the very near future so that you can win contests for sharing our app and participating with the rest of the partners that we have in our WFN1 family. Thanks again for watching.